Okay, right now I just want we're gonna show you how to install CoinOps 5 Lite. Um, the first thing I want to kind of go over is that you will have around 4.6. This is 4.6 to 4.7 gigabytes available after you're done soft modding, and depending upon which kind of stock hard drive you have, you may actually um, have another two gigabytes available. So if you have a Western Digital hard drive, you'll have a you won't have that available. You'll just have a gigabyte hard drive. If it's a Seagate, um, then you can reformat that to get the extra two gigabytes on it because the Seagates are, are ten gigabyte hard drives. So to determine which hard drive you have, go to system settings down to storage okay, and under storage under model it says ST 3114A that's a Seagate, so that's good. So this hard drive, um, we can format and get the extra two gigabytes back, and we'll do that. So let's get it. We're going to need a program. So let's let me uh, get that program and show you how to put it on the Xbox. Okay, this is the uh, back of my wireless router that I have here in my house, and basically, you know, you, I've got three Ethernet cables into it. So one is just the um, from from the, uh, the Ethernet from the cable. I have a cable modem. Uh, one is an Ethernet cable going back to my PC. And the other is an Ethernet cable that I'm going to attach to the back of my Xbox. So the other is this Ethernet cable, and on the back of your Xbox there's an Ethernet port, and you plug it in. Once you plug that in, you'll see on the bottom left, you'll see an IP address. And this is 192.168. Dot one dot twenty four. You can write that down, and then we'll go back up to the computer. And, and you know, it's going to be a different number for you. It, it's, it's most likely going to be one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot something. But uh, it, you'll see it, you'll see it there, and then take that number, write it down, and then go back to your PC, and we'll use a program called flash fxp to uh, transfer files to your xbox okay now we're back at the pc and i've opened up the program flash fxp and on the left side you have a box which is basically your computer your pc and i've navigated to where i have my chimp 2618 folder and on the right side is the other computer that you would FTP into. In this case it's your Xbox. So you see an icon that has two computers close to each other. Click that and then click Quick Connect. Okay, the address or URL, this was 168 I think it was no, 192 not 2.168.1.24 and go down there. The username is Xbox X B O X lowercase and the password is Xbox lowercase and then click connect. Okay now on the right hand side of the screen these are your um, folders and where you're gonna where you're gonna put 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 your files and transfer them in so this is your Xbox. So you're going to want to put the chimps folder into your E 
folder. So double click on E and you've got apps, backups, all this. So there's a couple things you want to do. This is in the root of the E folder. You're going to want to transfer a program. So open up the chimps program called Linux boot dot CFG. So you just left click it to kind of highlight it and then right click transfer and there it is in your Xbox. Now go up one and you're going to go to the apps folder on your Xbox. Double click it and then transfer the whole chimps folder over the chimp 2618 folder over transfer. Okay, that's done. Now we're going to just disconnect and we'll go back to the Xbox. Okay, now we're back at the Xbox. We've just FTP'd over the chimp program. If you go in the applications, it actually doesn't show up yet. What you need to do is you need to reboot your Xbox. So if you just give it a soft boot with the left and right triggers and the back and the black button, if you do that, it gives a soft boot to your Xbox. Now if you go down to Applications, uh, the CHIMP program will show up. It will show up as this LPARTX. So if you click A, it's going to load that program. Now you want to hit A again. Uh, you may not have seen it, but if you kind of pause the video, there was a little countdown in parentheses. And you want to make sure you hit A before um, that gets to zero or you won't be able to get into it. The other thing that you're going to want to have is you're going to want to have an original Xbox controller like this. Chimp does not work very well with um, aftermarket controllers or, or from another um, company. So now at the bottom it says plus enter. Press enter to activate it. So you just hit A. And really what we want to do is we want to go down to um, Format Extended Partitions on the Master Drive. That's option number 8 here. So we can zoom in a little bit, but that's option number 8. Okay. So you just click A for OK. Now, here you can just say the first option, option number 1, F is capped at a 137 gigabytes. So just A again for OK. Say confirm it. Use your D-pad to go over to the left. A for yes. And you're done. That's all That's all it took. Now um, you can just go down to option 11 which is reboot or you can shut it down and start it up again. Either one. I'm just going to reboot. Then I'll show you that we've got um, now that we've reformatted your X, the Xbox uh, hard drive, the Seagate hard drive, you have a little bit more room on there. Okay. So if you go down and look in the E and the F, so the E is the same size, it's about 4.6, 4.7 gigabytes. The F partition is now 2.1 gigabytes, so you have an extra 2.1 gigabytes to play around with, which is really nice. It'll make it very easy to actually install the full CoinOps Lite on here, um, and you could actually do that and have uh, uh, close to 2 gigabytes to put whatever else you wanted to put on here. You, know, you could put another emulator and, and some ROMs on there if you wanted to. Um, I'm not going to do that in this video, but I'm just going to let you know that you could do that if you wanted to.